European Athletics website, and they're saying, ah, oh, but such and such has only has retired. Have they retired? Were they injured? No. You're allowed four failures as a special competition rule, alongside the fact that you are, normally would have three consecutive failures to see you eliminated, unless you win. So, this is this hotly anticipated women's sprint hurdles A race that we are just talking about, and really excited to see what happens in this one. This is Abigail Paulett, the British heptathlete, who has improved by 0.4 seconds this year. And will be going to the European Under-23 Championships to compete in this event. And then the home favourite, Pia Skrohovska, the 22-year-old who had a victorious double two years ago in this stadium. 100 metres and 100 hurdles, 11.25, then 12.99. Nadine Visser, twice a European indoor champion, over 60 hurdles, fifth at the Olympic Games. She's won 12.71 this year in Hengelo. Letitia Bapte was fifth at this year's European indoors in Istanbul. She's improved to 12.78, compared to that to a PB from two years ago of 13.06. But our European leader and indoor champion from Istanbul, Rita Hurske, and an athlete who for many years has been an excellent 60 hurdles runner, seeming to also be strong over this longer distance outdoors as well. And what about Ditaji Kambunchi? We saw some of the emerging young talents in the men's event a moment ago. And she has run 12.78 in Hengelo recently. And this is the Italian champion, Elisa Maria Di Lazzaro, 13.04 in Turku earlier this month. 12.9 at best. And Elisabeth Pesiridu has six Balkan titles, including 4x1 relays. The Greek. We all know who those watching on inside the stadium want to win this event. On your so many of these women consistently well under 13 seconds. Pia Skrahovska also has a PB in this stadium from last year of 12.51. Paula Skrahovska. Visser, Bapte, Hurske, Kambunji, Dilatsaro, and Pesaridu. The women's 100 meter hurdles, a race. Set. Camera focusing in there on Hurske, who didn't get the best start. Well, I don't know if anything was spotted there. It wasn't, but I was just rethinking from uh, that Continental Tour event in uh, Turkey, and I was so excited we were finally going to get Piers Krasovska versus Rita Herska that we, we wanted in Istanbul at the European Indoor Championships, and, and I really hope it's not the Polish athlete. That looks very even to the naked eye. We'll wait till the graphic comes out. It was a good start from Kumbunji, but I think that was all after after the start, or oh, maybe not. Maybe it was a little bit too early from the Tajay Kumbunji in lane seven. Well, we saw a very similar reaction time in the 100 metres, I'm going to say, yesterday, which produced the yellow card. I think the race officials are being quite lenient with the athletes here it's not like a one-day meeting like a diamond league meeting or perhaps a world athletics continental tour they know that points and the crux of the competition is this contest between europe's leading nations so the last thing they want to do i think is start disqualifying athletes unless it's a really egregious error and we've seen i think under other circumstances potentially athletes who could have been disqualified although i have to say I think that looks like a red card in the hand of the chief track official, Luca Vershina. Certainly does. Oh dear. Unfortunate for Kambunji. Now I'm rather large. I'm sure they were bigger than yesterday's cards, just to, just to make it clearer and clearer, which is helpful for the audience as well. Don't forget those watching in the uh, highest part of the stands. Those details as Kambunji is going to have a look at the finer details also. 
I can only recall, as we were saying in the Division 3 match, one other athlete being disqualified in the sprint so far this week, and that was uh, the Israeli sprinter, Blessing of Rifa, back here in the opening day of the Division 3 match. Not too many complaints, I think, from Ditaji Kambonji. No, but it will mean that someone who was in the A race and thereby with a faster time coming in will get no points. Switzerland find themselves in ninth position out of 16 in the overall standings. So we get ready to go once again. Minus Kambunji of Switzerland. So it will be uh, Paulette of Great Britain on the inside, then Pierska Rohovska, Nadine Visser, Letitia Bapte, Rita Hurske, Elisa Maria Di Lazzaro, and Elisabeth Peseridu. Set. Now the athletes are away, and uh, Skrohovska got an even better start that time. Bapte and Visser, though, neck and neck, right with her three-way battle but Skrohovska just at the last found an excellent final gear to win in 12.77 so she's come here once again to the Sladion Saski another dose of maximum points and two tenths faster as well than she was two years ago what an athlete a significant injury for Pierre Strahovska in the indoor season. It was it was heartbreaking. She was European lead. She was running faster with every race. And, uh, picked up a hamstring injury. And to have been rehabilitated and, and back already on the track running so well is uh, fantastic for Pierre Strahovska. She was, she was under real pressure here. It was a great start. And she just, at this point, you thought, OK, she's going to pull away a bit, little bit. But hats off to Nadine Vesa and Letitia Bate for keeping her honest here. And she's just to go. You could have forgiven her at this point for being overawed by the occasion. She's here in front of the home crowd. She's not had very many outdoor races. And this race meant a lot to her. She was talking in the press conference. This was very important to come and perform well uh, for her nation, for herself. And to be able to deliver under that intense pressure, that's super impressive. And I think her, her season is just going to go from strength to strength from this point out. We mentioned the, the 100 meter win a couple of years ago as well. Do you think it might have been that sprint speed right at the end? I'm clear of the barriers now, off I go. Whereas perhaps Bissa and Bapte just beginning to tie that little bit more? I think it's, I don't know, you, you can't, I love thinking and talking about sort of the home <laughs> advantage. And you kind of say, you know, this, that tiny, everything in this competition, you're there for your team, it, it, it lends itself to finding that extra gear. Uh, but maybe in a home games as well. 100%. So, Skidohovska ahead of Vissa and Bapte. Fairly clear top three ahead of Rita Hurske, who we thought might well feature within it for Finland. And this is how those two results come together. As you can see, uh, most of the top names came from that A race. Itachi Kabunji, no points for the Swiss. And Bumko, she gets one point, you see, that's all that matters. Or well, two points indeed, is it? Yes, of course. And Bumko showing why, why it's worth turning up for your team, even if it's not your favourite event. She did get seven points.